Welcome or welcome back at any help at C squared. In this example, we will graph this rational function. That's what we have here. And we're going to follow certain steps, this four step, and maybe we're going to do something more. So the first thing you want to do when you graph a function like this, you want to find the y-intercept. And that means you make x equals 0, which is, I think, the easy step, step right? Because f of 0 in this case is what? If you plug 0, this is gone, this is gone. You're going to have only positive 3 over negative 1 left, which is negative 3. So the point is 0 and negative 3, which is a good point to start with eventually. Let me erase this now. Okay, so probably what I will do, yeah, that's that's a good idea. Draw an x and y axis and plot this point. That will be a point that we need to be sure we're going through. Zero and uh, negative three, that will be somewhere down here, right? Okay, okay. And now let's move to the second part and find the x-intercept. The x-intercept means in the, other, in the other words, when y is 0, right? When this function is 0. So we have 0 equals negative 2x plus 3 over x minus 1. When is this fraction, this rational expression equals to 0? When the numerator, the top of the fraction, is 0. So we have this linear equation. So we solve it. Then we have negative 2x equals negative 3. And then divide by negative 2, we get this three halves. So we have this point, three halves and zero. This is what we call the um, x-intercept, right? So uh, by the way, I, this one disappear and then we have three half and zero. So one, one and a half, let's say it's right here, right? So we already have two points of this rational function. Let's move now to part C, where we need to find the vertical asymptote. The vertical asymptote means you take this denominator, x minus 1, make it equals to 0, and you have x equals 1. So this is the vertical asymptote. You need to be sure you don't want to cross this vertical asymptote. Okay. And then let's take a look to the horizontal asymptote. Uh, and for that reason, you want to take a look to a couple things. First of all, you want to take a look to the degree of numerator and the denominator. Degree of the numerator is this invisible one, this denominator invisible one. We see the same degree, one and one. So therefore, the horizontal asymptote will be the quotient, the fraction that is represented by the leading coefficient, which are negative two, which we see it, this guy here, and this invisible one. So we have negative two. So that's my next thing to draw here, y equals negative two. And you know what? I think I have enough information to graph this uh, rational function. This will be the graph. Okay, you see how it goes. This is going to be one side, and this is going to be the other side of this rational function. I have a better graph here uh, done by. Uh, and GeoGebra, and you see exactly what I said here. If you enjoy this uh, example, don't forget to click the like button and come back at C-Score for more help. Thank you.